Hello, well today I'm doing a motor upgrade, a motor upgrade for my Singer 201. So this is a sort of upgrade which would apply to any domestic old sort of vintage style sewing machine. And I have a new motor in a box here. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to be installing the motor and also installing better lighting for the machine. Now just to sort of outline quickly first of all why I'm doing this. The Singer potted motor, so the original motor that comes with the machine, is rated at 70 watts. For lever work that is a bit under pad. The new motor is a 90 watt, so that's like another roughly third on with a power. So that's one reason, a bit more power. Second reason is the Singer original foot pedal is a rheostat foot pedal. The modern pedals are electronic. Now, what that means is if you've got your foot on the pedal with the old Rheostat version, it's a bit like sort of dead slow or dead fast. There's not much in between. With the electronic, I'm hoping there'll be a bit more graduation and a bit more control of the sewing speed. So that's the motor in the pedal. <laughs> I'm going to also upgrade the lighting. I find with the ordinary tungsten lamp on my little Singer 201, I sometimes get my hand underneath and the bulb gets so hot that I actually almost burn it. So I'm putting in LED lighting and while I'm at it, I'm making it brighter because I like a lot of sewing light. So that's the upgrades I'll take you through. The motor is quite reasonably priced, so this is not an expensive project. UK, £35 for the motor. I'll put a link in the description that basically is on Amazon. And um, probably on eBay as well, actually. <laughs> and the LED bulb, much the same, quite cheap. So worth doing, it will hopefully give me a bit more power, a bit more control, and a bit more light on my vintage Singer and there's going to be more to this following because I'm going to also be doing embroidery on the machine but that will be a separate topic. Here's the motor. <laughs> You've got an unboxing now. <laughs> Never done one of these, I'm going to do it quickly. Serrated belt, bolt, electrical clips, uh, a wiring harness, a foot pedal, feels quite solid, and the motor. So here's the vintage machine I'm working on, my Singer 201. This is the Mark II, so it's the lighter aluminium model. Essentially the same as the black cast iron Mark I, just a bit lighter to carry around really. But it's like you could be doing this to you know, a Singer 66 or pretty well any other old vintage Singer sewing machine. So that's the original Singer pedal. I'm going to take all of this off. And then take the motor off and get a new one on. The motors on these, they're really easy, if I can undo the bolt. They're um, just literally bolted on. I need to d disconnect the cable for the lamp and try somehow to wire it into my new motor. So a little bit of complication there. What I've done, I've disconnected the lamp contacts off of these and I notice there's a little like clamp screw on the side here. So I'll just undo that. So I've now got a lamp with a cable out the end. I'll put this back together and then I can pop this motor away and get on with fitting the new one. So I've just been wiring the light into the motor. Now the kit comes with a couple of crimps so you can put those on the end of the light cable. What it unfortunately doesn't come with is a wiring diagram to tell you where they should go. But actually, when you look at it, the, the crimps can only go on really on two places. So one is on the live, where the live on the motor is, and the other is there's a spare couple of crimps on the side here which are connected. Oh, correction, there is actually a wiring diagram uh, inside the plastic of the lid of the motor housing. So it's got what? the lamp connectors are is actually what I thought they were. So now I'm just going to put the motor on and it's very simple. It's the same bolt, although they do supply a bolt which I'll use, that I used to take it off. So one bolt bolted on and that holds your motor. The belt it's actually ribbed both sides which is quite interesting. 
cool. In fact, is going to be a challenge and a half. Well, it seemed no matter what I did, this belt just wasn't long enough. So I've actually used the original rubber band belt that I had put on there. So final thing I'm going to do is replace this. This was a 15 watt pygmy bulb with an LED. I've bought an LED bulb. So I've got a four watt LED, which I think would be a lot brighter. I'm not certain. Is that something like 40 watts? I forget the conversion. Just going to sort of give it a bit of a test now and see how things go. So what I want to do basically is look at it, how good it is at going through the lever, how much control I have on the motor in terms of its speed going faster or going slower. Um, so how slow can I happily go? Yeah, that, that actually is pretty good. That's quite slow. And then can I take it up? Yep. And more. And then down again. See, I wasn't getting that before with the rheostat foot pedal. I am with this electronic foot pedal. The actual penetration power of the needle, again, I'd say that was noticeably better. So yeah, I think that's actually quite a worthwhile upgrade. And the light is good. I mean, one would know it more if one was in a darkened room. So that's nice and slow. That's what I was wanting to try and do, is get a bit more control. Faster and then slower. And it's a nice stitch on there. Yeah, overall, pretty good. And I've just made a very quick cover for my wife's Kindle. So seems to work very well. Bit of protection for it there. Yeah, um, I think the upgrade is well worth doing. Better lighting, a bit more power, and a bit more motor control. So all in all, I'm pleased with that. Fairly quick and easy as well. Anyway, hope you found that one helpful. And again, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye then.